good evening every may 3rd is celebrated as international sun day meaning this is the day on which people should commit to look more towards a sustainable energy and non conventional sources of energies otherwise even today also the entire world majority so they are depending on the conventional sources of energies and that is finite so very soon that is going to be exhausted then after that that is the reason why the world has started looking towards non conventional sources of energy and india is one country and india is surging beyond and we have a target for the year 2022 and we have achieved it now we have the target for the year 2030 what is that that is very important for the examination and before that i would like to give you some information and important information with respect to international sun day now please have a look at this so here is the document now May 3rd is celebrated as International Sun Day. This day falls under the category of Action Day. Meaning so you need to take some action to get the you know the to get the world with respect to uh, non conventional sources of energies. Now when it comes to this Sun Day has been organized annually on a voluntary basis by the international solar energy society since the year 1994 another possible question since which year the international sun day is being celebrated and your answer should be 1994 what is the purpose the purpose of celebration is to attract the attention of the public to the opportunities presented by sustainable energy sources and their use for the solutions of the ecological problems kindly remember whenever wherever we are discussing about the ecology environment so these are really really very important topics and any information that is related to ecology that we need to updates now look at this entire world is talking so much about you know the solar energy and india is moving ahead with this look at this another important one international solar alliance on november 30th 2015 please remember this date india and france established the international solar alliance at the 21st meeting of the united nations convention framework on climate change in paris so during the time india and france have established this and its headquarters is in gurugram you know this place that's in haryana and united states of america became 101st member and very recently nepal also joined this group so this uh, the strength of this group is increasing very 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 rapidly but when it was started 2015 who started this india and france where is the headquarters gurugram so please remember all the points these are important for the exam now if you look at india closely and carefully rooftop solar power 40% and solar parks 40% account for the majority of the solar power generation in india and launched it rupees 19500 crores generation linked incentive for an ambitious 280 gigawatt of installed solar power capacity by the year 2030 very 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 important one so kindly remember this so what is the target for india by the year 2030 and 
lot amount of money is being invested to achieve that particular ambitious goal. So kindly remember anything that is related to sustainable energy. Sustainable energy will become very important for our examination both at the preliminary level as well as the mains level. Right? And uh, I'll stop here. I'll see you in the next class.